I think it was best E3 show ever. I'm here with um, Don Matrick. Yes, it's wonderful <laughs> to be here. And John Shepard. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. I think we made history today. I think we showed the best games, we showed some great entertainment partners, and we showed some great social partners, Facebook, Twitter. We appreciate everyone coming out, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to go by our booth and, and see the software uh, at the convention center. So. so we will definitely be there. Having the Beatles on stage and oh Kojima-san on stage <laughs> made a pretty darn good E3. And of course, Don, the man of the hour, made magic with Project It's All. Uh, we, were, we were really uh, excited to, to talk about our vision for the future of interactive entertainment. Control over your in-game character just by moving your body or using your voice. You have control over your avatar in the most natural way imaginable. So you see there's my big canvas. That's where we're going to paint our background. Uh, light blue. I'm going to People, uh, when they use Natal, uh, just are blown away. And we thought that the milestone of shipping development kits, shipping cameras to our partner was an important one. And we couldn't tell ourselves any story where that was going to stay secret for very long. So it, uh, it was wonderful to share it and empower our creative partners to build new experiences. Is Milo sort of like a tech simulation for E3 or is it going to be made into something bigger like a, a game? Or will there be some kind of development Yeah, these, these, these nasty people here, PR policemen that are all around me as we speak, are stopping me talking about the actual game part, but yeah, for sure. A boy called Milo. He's a character that can recognize us, he can recognize our faces, he can recognize our voices, he can recognize emotions in us. You're this ordinary guy named Jason Fleming, and he's like a hiker. And he meets this girl, and they're kind of, you know, having a little bit of a connection. She kind of winds up vanishing, and then she actually gets kidnapped into this underground complex in the middle of the mountains, and starts turning all the weapons against them, and ultimately, hopefully, saving the day. If you had to choose any object or weapon to slay a zombie with, what would it be? My foot. I'd like to get like cleats so I could just stomp on all their heads like Marcus Phoenix stomping on locusts. Teamwork is vital, so there's a few different things that play into part. There's a battle gauge that everybody shares. If it hits zero, it's game over for everybody. If you were encountering a zombie, um, what object or weapon would you use to slay it? Uh, I'd definitely go for a baseball bat, Frank West style. You get the microphone, you rhyme along with the greatest rappers ever. You also record your performance with the camera. You take that cut that of that performance, you edit it, you apply the visual effects, and then you upload it to the community. The main goal of the game is vengeance. If you were to use any object or weapon to slay a zombie, which would it be? I read the zombie survival guide, so I would probably have to say the uh, the Mauser. I mean, that's the, that's the best weapon for it, the most practical weapon for slaying zombies. We have melee weapons as well, so if you're holding the axe, you can go put an axe into his back and uh, take care of him. And we're also going to have, we're not showing it today, but we have a chainsaw as well, because, you know, we will admit, Left 4 Dead 1 did not have a chainsaw, and that was a problem. What's your favorite way to kill a zombie in the game? The frying pan. Where do you get a frying pan? Yeah, you find a frying pan in the, in the, in the restaurant. Where would you find a frying pan? When you get a frying pan, then you get to smack him in the head, and it makes a nice good dong. <laughs> For us, we just really had a vision that we wanted to create going back a couple of years ago. And our team's done tremendous work. Everyone's worked really hard. Obviously. So oh, we're excited. We're really excited what we shared. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Cliff Blazinski, Design Director of Epic Games. Hey, I'm Todd Howard, Bethesda. I'm Alex Rogopoulos, the CEO of Harmonix. I'm Bayonetta, and I like to watch Game Zombie. Game Zombie. Game Zombie. Game Zombie TV.
GoDaddy.com, your number one source for all your internet needs. GoDaddy.com offers new hosting, free hosting. Is it free hosting or new hosting? <laughs> GoDaddy.com, your number one source for new domain registry. Now with your domain registration, you get hosting, free blog, and free puppies. Puppies? Of course not. Jackass. Get your piece of the internet on GoDaddy.com through Game Zombie TV. And enter in the code ZOMBIE20 and get an additional 20% off of one, two, and three year shared hosting plans. I, I think that was right. I think that was right too. I'm really excited. <sighs>